plugging into your kidney one. Knees slightly relax, so kind of just um, vibrate a little bit just to get that looseness in your joints. Your pelvis, imagine that's the bowl. So the pelvis has just a little bit of water in it and you're moving that bowl in a circular motion, whatever direction or figure of eight. Circular is best. Coating the edges of the bowl until the circle becomes smaller and the water just sits on the bottom where Ren 1 is right in the centre of your perineum, which plugs down between your feet, which means your lower back is open. Your shoulders are to the side. Your neck is drawn up from that point at the base of your occiput. You're smiling, hopefully, inside, if not outside. Tongue on the roof of your mouth, breathing in and out through your nose. So to start, just bring your hands up, breathing in. Central, down. Breathing in. Starting with water. So one foot in front of the other, left in front of the right perhaps, not too far apart. Plugging into kidney one, you've still got all of that um, sense of what you had when you were standing that lightness, that space between your spine, all the way through this. So you breathe in, breathe out, hinge at your hips, back straight, through and beyond. Projection forward, up most of all, always through your fingertips, that's where your projection is, from your hara. Bend down as far as you want to go. You don't have to go that far. The other way. From your kidneys down. Use your hara, use your abdominal muscles as you come down. Breathing out, breathing in. Use your ab muscles, not your back, to come up. Change leg. Past your kidneys, don't forget to take in your kidneys. The other way. Breathing however you want, there's no rule as to where the in or out breath is, it's just how you're feeling today. Okay, so the next three are in squat position. So we have wood, what are the organs associated with wood? Good wood. So bring in the gallbladder, draw it into your centre, opening the liver. This is your stability, so these are your roots. Pushing in both directions. Breathe in, breathe out that ability to make your choices with flexibility.
flexibility to see things from more than one point of view, both directions, changing your point of view, the flexibility of wood, but the stability of your root, you're rooted down, that doesn't move, your hip should be in the same position. Opening the side, come back to center. Next, we have fire, still in squat position, but not really low because you need to bank a little bit so that you can dip for the middle part. So, there's the no breath, remember? So, you breathe in, turn at the heart, very important. Still breathing in, no breath. Push up, lower your hara, focus your fire, connect as you breathe out with the universal. Breathe in, draw up your creative fire. No breath. Breathe out. Two more in your own instruction. Metal next. What are the organs? Lung, large intestine, yeah. Okay, so still squat, still stable. Be aware of that opening because what does lung, large intestine merit? What kind of texture, what quality? Opening. opening, exactly, that opening. So you're drawing the bow. The bow is made of yew and willow, so there's that strength of your immune system from the U, but also the flexibility and opening and release of the willow. So, lung, large intestine. Breathe in, draw back the bow, open the borders. Hips facing forward at all times. Thumb in your lung point if you wish. Breathe in, hips facing forward. One more each side. Exhale, open the border. What's the last element? Earth. So we're going to end on our grounding. Very important. And the direction of Earth? Up, down, centre. Up, down and centre. Nicely put. So we start off with that ball. Left hand underneath. And as your right hand goes down, your left leg comes up. So spiraling, your hands can be spiraling. Breathe in. Breathe out. Center. Breathe in. Left hand down, left leg up. Center. Breathe in. Lowering from your centre as you come down. Guide the movement from your hara. This isn't a hand movement. This is guided from your centre. One more the other side. 
plug in with kidney one. Really nice. Integrate everything, all the elements back into your body. between your hands and in front of you a ball it encompasses not just in front of you but all around your girdle your waist your belt or even further out feel that energy between your hands and in your hara And know that that energy, that once you felt it, it's with you forever. It's always there. Just need to tap in. If you want, bring your hands back into your hara, collect everything and rotate in a clockwise direction clockwise as you look at as you're looking at yourself in the mirror hmm. you were doing it all right anyway okay your hands together. Over your eyes, inhale. Over your eyes, inhale. 